All right, and we are back with the tale of four warlords with a side content bonus of the Columbus Crew game that's going on right now, <laughs> September twenty eighth, twenty twenty four. Because Neil is invested, everybody. Oh, I've watched every game, but uh, I think I might have missed one this that's entire fun. season. So that's what I'm hanging on tight by the Premier League. I know you don't have a team in it, as we were talking before, but the crew, you, you got a tight race with whoever Cincinnati's team is. It doesn't matter. I'm closer yeah. to Columbus, so I'm going to root for them too. The plus they're, they're black and yellow. Yeah, yeah, not yet. When that when that happened, I wasn't a big fan of it, but you know, whatever. That it's is, it's whatever now. That is so, an odd choice. I mean, I won't it was an odd choice for an Ohio team, but that's all right. The other two colors, uh, the orange hasn't been doing very well for uh, <laughs> for either Ohio team in the NFL anyway. So uh, yeah, that's, maybe that's it's time fair. to shake it up. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, you have to you have to play a sport. Pitts, well, I guess we play it, but anyway, let's not get too deep into it. But Neil, if a big play yeah. happens, you let us know about it. Sure. Um, as we're recording this at the end of the month here, you may notice that two of our warlords are MIA, and that's because they are bad at committing to things. <laughs> I'm going to call it out. I love them both. They're adults. we got stuff going on. But, Neil, it, it, two weeks ago is when I planned this call, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when I started. Like this, let's, let's choose a date, choose a rough time frame. Here we are. I'm just calling them out. Love them dearly. But, dear God, guys, if you're watching this back, which you will be, or maybe Mike might jump on. I think I think Terry is not going to be able to join tonight. But Mike, if you jump on, you better watch this back. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to go through it. Uh, I do have pictures of everybody's commitment. We'll 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 talk through it as we can, and at least yep. get everybody an update here as we get to the closing months of the armies. So let's uh, let's jump on over to it. We'll get right into it. So uh, I guess mine's first because that's what I chose. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. So my commitment this uh, month was my second unit of Pegasus Knights, all formed up in a nice lance formation. Whoop, that's a little too close of a zoom there. There we go. Uh, yeah. So like I said, this was the um because you know, I'm doing the Dukedom of Paravon. So they're all about the Pegasus Knights. They're all about they're next to the mountains. So I needed to have as much Pegasus as possible. And two units of six. And to be fair, Neil, you can call me out on this. It's overkill when I look at how good these things are. Yeah, um, they're very good. They're, they're very, very good. It's the skirmish that really puts them over the top. And you're using them in a lance formation. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's going to be very much. Uh, I, I played the I played actually I finished. Spoilers, we, you won't see it all, but I finished painting my whole army because um, I got into a, a groove and I ran them and I realized, okay, my army is fine and fun to play if I run these guys in lance formation. They're still good, but I, if I, I can misposition them, they can be played, you know, dealt with easier. Um, yeah. If I'm trying to win a game hard, you'll see them in skirmish. If I'm just going to have fun, <laughs> you'll see them in lance. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. But in groups of three and uh, oh, yeah, God help you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's very true but yeah I, they they just pull so much weight <laughs> yeah yeah um but still i i really enjoyed more importantly i really enjoyed um painting these up kit bashing them to be in that lance formation oh oh wait hold on we have someone joining us here let's let's back back out here Oh. Hey, welcome to the ongoing oh. recording before you say the wrong thing, Mike. <laughs> so we decide to start without you. <laughs> oh, you're muted. Can... Uh oh. There you are. There, there you are. Go. You can hear me now? Yep, hear you now. All right, I'm just going to take my ear pods out because maybe they're dead right now. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, uh, that happens. Uh, can hear you sorry about that. That's all right. I, I had just. To put the... Yeah, it's it's fine. I just... no the wife's uh, the, the wife's uh she's on call tonight, so and she worked all day today. She worked twelve hours today, so it's just been a day. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, how you guys doing? Good, good, good. You need to go back and watch the first uh four three minutes of this where I was yelling at you and you and Terry more Terry I think in this case, but shame on you guys, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't speak for him, but oh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, now that you've given me your reasoning, it makes a whole lot more sense. Okay, but I wish you would have. Here's the here's the other thing. I'm say this. I wish you guys would tell me that stuff sooner. Like if you're like, hey, like 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 
Chuck, this popped up. Sorry, this is what I'm dealing with. I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. I won't at least call you out on the on the show. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll be, I'll be like, he'll, he'll join when he can. Now, Terry, he's sitting at a lake house. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I know he was... I know he he was out of town all week this week, and I don't uh, think. Boo-hoo. Yeah, I, I think it, it because it's just him and his wife and his kid. I think that uh, yeah, it was a no go for tonight. Boo hoo, boo hoo. I'm so sad about the guy at his lake house. <laughs> Ooh, that's too bright. Yep. See, the angels are angels are crying now. Um, anyway, we were just diving in on it. Uh, we we're looking at my, my Pegasus Knights. So, but you you good time. Nice. Um. Because, yeah, I just really enjoyed uh, converting these and mocking them up to be coming down in that Lance charge. So I have two units like that. And, Mike, as I, uh, as I was talking to Neil about, cause these guys pull a lot of weight. They're really good. So if I'm trying oh, to yeah. if I'm trying to win a game... You're bringing, like, nine of them. <laughs> well, I'm bringing four units of three, all skirmish. If I'm trying to just have fun, I'm bringing two units of six in Lance only, because at least you can play around. You know, you can play, you can you can block me up, lane me up, all that sort of fun stuff. That's some pretty cheeky shit right there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> well, I, what, to be fair, when I started this, I was like, oh man, this this is a cool color scheme. Okay, what are they? Oh, they're the Pegasus ones. I'll do the Pegasus Knights, and then it's like, oh, they're really good. So. Oh, they're really good. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, they're they're the uh, they're. They're arguably the best unit in all the Bretonian army. I, I can't arguably disagree. one of the strongest units in the game. Yeah, in absolutely. the game, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I mean, Grail Knights are up there. My Grail Knights are up there in my opinion, but they're not. I don't know. Pigs is nicer. Grail Knights yeah. are up there, but you can much like it, it, because Grail Knights can't do skirmish. They're much easier to. Yeah. No, you're going this way. Line of, line of sight and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. No, I have to That's say that the as far as beat sticks go, the the. Uh, the Duke on Royal Pegasus, you can really kid him out to, to survive oh, and yeah. dish out a lot of damage. Well, I, to go, to, so Neil, Neil finally shared some things with me this week, and uh, I, I really want to get a STL for a Duke on a Hippogriff. That's like... Yeah, I haven't looked at the Hippogriff. If you run that, I, I mean, it, it's... It's pretty messed up, man. Like <laughs> you get all those wounds because of the barding. It's like a two up uh, on your save roll, saving roll. Like it's it's pretty it's pretty nasty if oh. you bring it in. But it's really really expensive. Yeah, like you're spending a lot of money. So, uh, but no, no, yeah, Pegasus. I, I agree. Pegasus Knights are uh, are the champions of Bretonia. For sure. Oh, oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. I love them. But speaking of which, someone else, and someone else is you. Like I said, you have perfect timing to show back up. Uh, oh man. Whoop! That's yep. I don't know what I did here. I screwed over. I screwed everything up. People are seeing half the image now. There it is. There it is. There's a nice unit of peg knights right there, Mike. For your commitment, I love it. Pegasus knights. Not peg knights. No, they're peg knights. They're getting pegged. They got you. You have <laughs> see, my mine mine have the terrain on the bottom. You have the pegs on the bottom. Yours are true peg knights. <laughs> they are peg knights, and, and I broke every one of those ones. To, every single one of those uh, uh, pegs that broke. So oh, already, yeah. or oh, dude, I had a dremel. I had a dremel out the plastic in it. Oh, because they broke. That's the worst. So now they're like lower than what they should be. But you know, it is what it is. If, but uh, wait. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I said on my and I, you know during our last meetup um, mm-hmm. when I was separate from everybody uh, that I was gonna do the trebuchet and then yeah. like I busted everything out. I'm like, fuck, these Pegasus <laughs> knights are sitting here with just black primer on them. I gotta paint them up. Yeah. So the trebuchet is actually done, uh, completely done. So I don't know if you guys would have you guys you guys haven't touched on next next month's goals yet right no I not mean, yet not yet we literally just we were okay. four minutes in the white okay area. all right but but yeah i mean they were fun to paint i i like you don't see a lot of black pegasus no. so i went i was like screw it i'm going black all the way through i have uh like a teal highlight for the mm-hmm. black instead of like a, a traditional gray yep. um you know and uh i think it really makes the armor pop so yeah 
really like how it turned like how it turned out it does it does i i really like it and i i thought i was being edgy because i included i think on this this on mine yeah i included one black pegasus because i'm like oh they're gonna be super rare and all this sort of stuff and there you come in like nah all black these my, <laughs> my boys are balling i'm like okay all right <laughs> yeah yeah well i have the tan i have the tan horse for my paladin i have the white horse for my duke and i was like i'm just gonna go black with the pegasus so if I end up, and I probably will end up buying uh, more mm -hmm. Pegasus, um, and they're just going to be black as well. Yeah, why so not? yeah, it just be uniformed. Good. It does yeah. look good. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I have a lot of mixed in mind too, just for the color variation. It does it. It works very well. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I like. But it. yours is beautiful, dude. Oh, that's. I like you. yours. I like yours better than mine. Just the way that they're kind of modeled and everything, and hey, I how you have them. I got extra train bits and stuff if you want. I can gladly give them to you next time I see you. You can always get rid of those pegs, and you can be a full Pegasus knight instead of being a peg tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. No, that's I, 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 don't, I don't hate flight stands as far as seeing them, by the way. I just hate using them. Well, what I used to do so tired like with, with like my 40K armies that I've had in the past, I've had a Raptors chapter yeah. and a uh, uh, Dark Angels chapter. What I would do is I would paint the pegs and like almost like a blue arc so it's like they're kind of shooting up yeah. if that makes sense so it, it made it look good i i hate i hate the, the pegs but yeah like to go back to 3d printing hey, you guys have seen like those backpacks with like the smoke coming out yeah, of them. yeah. instead of you know like that's that's what gw needs to do instead of those pegs it just needs to like build some kind of yeah. like smoke kit or something like that, you know. I, I don't know. Well, they have, I, I just like they have a leaping off the rock for a lot of flying stuff now, which it, yeah. it, it works. It's not the worst. It does. Yeah. It, it does. It's just played out. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to me, to me, I'd rather put a peg on something than have like a tree up everything's ass. You know, like I. <laughs> well, I, I, I you know, like I, I, like at a certain point, you're like, really, everything's jumping off a rock right now. Right. Like, okay. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. But no, 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 like, like I said, like the at least with space marines and i know this is a you know old world sure. podcast but um you know at least with with those smoke the smoke it looks like yeah, yeah it I looks think natural it looks yeah. it's fun yeah, yeah, yeah i didn't mind like the aos prosecutors with like the uh the old ones with like the oh, whatever it was. oh yeah Dude, i like this too you know hanging that, that was yeah. fine you know whatever yeah with the uh um uh like the um scrolls that's it that's scrolls. it yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i thought they did i thought that was pretty smart when they yeah. did that yeah. so and plus they were flexible so if you drop yeah. them, yeah, they, they didn't really they didn't break. Great. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they're they always kinda... and it wasn't just one one thing. It was like two or three. So like yeah, it was well supported. Yeah, I had a whole I had a whole celestial vindicator army. Oh, and boy. I just love that I, that I love that teal yeah. color, man. It was nice. So I I, I, I am gonna get Skaven Titan. I know I'm going off topic here, but I'm gonna go <laughs> back to go back to that that scheme because I really like it. Uh especially because it, it makes the whites really pop. It does. Uh, off, so. And it's, but, okay. Uh, it's okay to be off topic because we're ramping down on this project. Just a couple months left. And then it's off to the next project. So. Dude, it's so nice, though. It's yeah. so nice, like, looking over at my shelf and, like, seeing almost another full army. I'm like, yep. at first I was like, holy shit, this is a big commitment, which it kind of is on my end. I mean, it, it just, it's been tough uh, to get these things done. But with that being said, like, I look over and I'm like, hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've, like I said, you've made due to like the months where you're busy. You've, you've, like, I'll do something simpler. So you're fine. Like, and, hey, whatever. It's working. Yeah. Like oh, I said, dude. Getting the whole army here looks good. Balls to the wall this next two months, man. It's yeah. like, it really, yeah. Gotcha. yeah. We'll, we'll get into that here in a second. I know we will. Yeah, we will. But first, we got to go on and show Neil's beautiful Shadow Warriors here. <laughs> yeah. Neil, tell me about yep, it. This this is the these, these are the pretty sisters um the other ones were the ugly sisters <laughs> uh so no these are these shadow warriors uh, i did something different with uh, I, I didn't have a navy paint so um the cloaks on here i wanted to be dark uh i don't know that i quite got it down to like a deep navy um uh, but what i did was i used like this contrast blue i can't remember what the, what the name of it is um it's a pretty Pretty strong bright blue yeah. but then i did half nightshade over top of that and i think i actually did two coats of that as well over there and so if you look at the cloak at least the guy jumping off of the um 
off of the tree stump or whatever uh because of all the the contrast with the shading and everything and the white paint uh the white primer underneath you're getting kind of like a natural highlight off of that yeah and uh they turned out pretty damn good um as far as i'm concerned do you do like a zenithal with your prime do you like do a black and then a white over i just do a pure white and then what i'll do is i'll do like a lot of shades and a lot of uh um contrasts over top of that and uh so when you're painting and you're going to see this too if you start doing uh prints 3d prints the depth is not always there especially if you print models at the size that uh at like a 28 millimeter scale the depth of the detail is not what you're going to get on gw models right and if you're used to painting gw models that can be an issue and so if you're using a lot of washes like washes don't hold up very as well i'll say because so what i do is i print my models 10 percent bigger because we've got the bigger bases anyway right now and right. I, i've gotten kind of used to that heroic scale that uh that I like heroes really scale better. yeah at this I like point it. yeah so yeah. it's it's a it, it pops the detail out on the 3d models more they accepts the shades a little bit more so there's a little uh i don't know semi-pro tip uh for your 3d uh printer <laughs> uh guys out there um or just, don't, or just be like me and don't use wash or just don't yeah yeah well i don't have the talent to do that especially when when the depth isn't there you know no, the I only, I, I, all right I, I take that back the only time i use wash is on metallics because it just looks it makes metallics just look beautiful so yeah i yeah. do use wash yeah. on metallics i would never not finish something with some non-oil over top of a metallic i don't care what metallic it is uh, really I, fact, I use it on all my stuff like i'll get the brightest silver i could possibly use which is almost like a oh no yeah, that's what I mean. I will use it on every oh, single. Yeah, yeah, no matter, oh, yeah, no matter okay. how bright or dark uh, the metal is. No matter what what type of metal it is, like oh, it's no oil Reichland, going on. Reichland flesh, Reichland flesh shade all day over uh, over um, gold. Oh really? It, oh um, yeah, yeah. If you're do, if you're it's trying like to make the a true gold, yeah. gold, it's my um, favorite gold recipe is Reichland over gold over uh, what's the? Because I don't I use Pro Acryl, but what's the GW? Retributor gold. Uh, yeah, I use, if you, you I use sepia over it. It's it makes no, it more the yellow than the brown, but. Yeah, Sepia is more yellow, but like the, I don't know, man. I'll, I'll never get away from that gold formula. Every gold that I've ever used has always been Reichland Flesh Aid huh. over, over the, you know, traditional gold and then, you know, whatever gold highlight you're going to use, right? Yeah. Um, but next time you try, just try it, Neil. I mean, yeah, I will. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm using a wash. Doesn't matter which paint pot i open up so i'll, right, I'll try that next right. time i do it yeah. yeah dude um so next time when you get your your 3d printer is broken right now right yeah it's it's not just broken it's in the trash can so <laughs> <laughs> it's gone it's dead yeah it's, it's well, not broken okay yeah. all right yeah. so when you do get another 3d printer when uh you know black friday comes up here um yep. <laughs> print, a, print a bunch of models out that you can uh, test that out because i'm telling you it's a great it's yeah. a great scheme. It's, I've, I've used sepia too chuck uh, yeah, on it's, gold. it depends how you it's want that like gold to yellow, finish. Yeah. 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 Have you ever seen Vince Ventrilla's uh, gold, um, like his gold recipe? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've, I've seen it, his gold recipe. I've seen his gold in person. Yeah, it's phenomenal. I want to. I want to. I. I'm because he gets the green stuff world, like flakes and all that kind of stuff. With I forget what he does, but it's, it's it looks amazing and it has awesome coverage and it doesn't like build up inside of any it doesn't take any of the detail away yeah um anyways off topic again i'll get you know <laughs> happy to see my friends right now that's why i'm talking so much yeah, no. <laughs> no. i've been, no, around, I've been yeah. around i've been around three kids all day today by myself so it's been uh it's been a wild well, you, day you, you yeah. can't you can't talk in depth uh uh warhammer with them or <laughs> <laughs> right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh great. man yeah. yeah. So this, uh, but this group of uh, Shadow Warriors, I like a whole lot better. They still fit in with the old ones that I did. Mm-hmm. Um, the, like if you would have to really look to know that that unit is different. Um, but I see it. I see it clear as day. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> so, did it. So yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm much happier with uh, how they're looking. You know, from three feet away, though, it's it, it'll fit right in with the army, right in with the other unit. Um, it's just painted better. With uh, thinner paints. I say so. well, I, when I've had to do things like yeah. that, and it's slightly off. So like my my Ideneth, for example, uh, Brush for Hire, Sean McAfee painted it for me uh, through a commission. So and I had to add a unit, and I matched it as best as I can, and it's not even close. It's like if I look at it, 
but you just yeah. take some of this unit, some of the other unit, mix them together over time. You'll just they'll they'll blend, and even you'll forget which ones right. are which until you look real close. Yeah, yeah. You basically Is he out that way? Yep, he's out. He's out this way. He lives out by me. Right. I'm about nice forty five minutes from me. So has he been at any of the uh, events? No, or he's no? he's not. He's he's crushing his full time gig. He's super busy, but um, he's kind of like me. He's like he's like a homebody in a way. <laughs> like, you know, I think so. Like the reason I do stuff around here is because it's five minutes away. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Now, Neil, you sent another picture here. Oh yeah. This 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 white line <laughs> chariot out of nowhere. This uh -huh. a, a, dude. A, that bonus thing is material. beautiful. Yeah, this is bonus for the for the month for you. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this thing is uh needs some touch ups. Like I did this actually a while back. Um, needs a lot of touch ups, but. Um, I was I was working with it like I didn't have the paints that I wanted, right? So, right, right. so you you, uh, you go to war with the army you have, right? So uh, that's that was the paints that I had at the time. Um, I still haven't got the paints I need to do the touch ups and everything. So uh, it looks a little rough in some spots, but as for the model itself, it's pretty sweet, gorgeous model. Um, yeah, I like I, the way it turned out. That this uh, this is one of the three D prints from what I've seen of what you've done. Like this looks like a GW style through and through. Yeah. Like the Shadow Warriors don't feel that for me. They feel close, but there's like that slight offness. Whereas this, I'm like, this looks almost exact. No, yeah. I, I I agree a hundred percent. Yeah. 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 In fact, I would I would say I dare to say that it's more dynamic than the actual Lion Chariot. And I love the oh, is, GW yeah. Lion Chariot. And uh, I think it's great. I have no no problems with it at all. Um, but I do like the way the lions are running. Um I do like, you know, the way that you got the charioteer holding the uh the reins on the lions and everything. You got the other guy with the axe where you just, you know, the, hit somebody. I do like yeah. that there's sides on the wheels a little bit. Yes. You know, they got the, 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 the pointy things out there. It always bothered me. Um, like, why did dark elves have sides on their wheels, but somehow the high elves were like, ah, no, nah, we don't need that. Like, you <laughs> we're, know, we're trying to kill that. things, but uh, we probably shouldn't put that They're on more agile. I'm like, what? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to not have those things on it. I, I think the only um, thing this is missing that the GW kit has, because I have a white line in my high elf army, uh, white lion chariot, um, the guy who's controlling the lions in the GW one, he's shirtless and he's just freaking jacked. Uh, Whereas this yeah. guy, he's got <laughs> sleeves on. He must be new. That's true. That's true. That's fair. I'll give you that one. It's but yeah, so that was uh, that was painted a while back. But you know, back when we initially started this project and everything, and I was uh, I was really pumped up and just couldn't put a paintbrush down. And so uh, yeah, there he is. I like it. No, it looks real good. All right, we have one more to show off here. Let's bring up Terry's contribution, which even though we're joking about Terry, we're not we're not giving him any slack. He is painting his commitment, which is great because it's, you know, it like like Mike said, this is a lot of work to commit to this. He painted up a giant for this one because it was the the I, I, I forgot that I even mentioned what was the path of plan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was rare or special this month, which, as you could probably tell at this point with what we've done, but he wanted to do a giant. Uh, with his greenskin army, and I don't know, was this a sculpt that you found or he found, Neil? This is that's what he found. Yeah. That's the Avatars of War. Oh, yeah. okay. So I sold my old 3D printer, my Anticubic, um, to one of our guys that run. He's our basically our coach of our blood ball league, and he is he gets he's a very I don't know, end of the end of the details type guy. So he it was right down his alley. Mm -hmm. So I sold it to him for super cheap so he could print out all the star players and everything for our Blood Bowl League. Yeah. So Terry found these Avatars of War STLs and was like, please print me this whole army. And that was <laughs> Yeah. Because I mean, look at that. That giant is I mean, the the whole army I think is just I mean, you guys have seen it in person, man. It's yeah. it's a yeah. The sculpts are awesome. Yeah, it's going to be wild to see what he has once his is all done. Because there's going to be a lot of models in that. Oh, he and he, that's his plan is to get them all done. He wants to have a, a full painted army, especially considering we're doing that, uh, doing your, uh, I don't know if you've announced it yet. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for hand raises for everybody who's doing it. But yeah. Oh, I'm in. So, I'm in. Perfect. Yeah. Map campaign. Especially too. considering we can use it. You know, we can do, <laughs> what'd you say? Map campaign. I said campaign. that makes two. No, <laughs> I know there's some other ones you're going to do. Are we going to use, uh, are we going to use your, um, uh what you and uh car yes. printed out nice yes. yeah okay right. i mean it would be a shame not to use all those maps oh i know yeah. <laughs> after all the 
all those hours and all those bottles of resin. Like, mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's, oh, yeah. I was I was looking at it the other day. I'm like, you know what? A little <laughs> off topic again, but uh, uh, I was just like, you know, what? I want to play with this toy. <laughs> so let's let's uh, and it's old world, right? So it's gonna yeah. Be- oh, that's what I'm more pumped about is that you know, if, for everybody out there watching right now, we're we're gonna be doing an old world campaign with hex based map and it's yep. gonna be freaking fun i can't yeah. wait that'll be a future yeah. uh, episode of the strength hammer podcast where neil will walk through that uh yeah. and we'll, we'll examine that in detail just like we examined the uh the sigmar one that we that you wrote up because neil's gonna be remembered for anything in this hobby it's <laughs> making map campaigns that are really in depth and functional Yep. I don't know about functional. They're semi-functional. Um, <laughs> I think know. they're functional. If you ask, if you ask Matt, 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 Matt will disagree. be remembered for anything. It'll be about doing a whole lot of work for not a whole lot of reason. That's uh... <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll we'll do we'll do two episodes. One where it's you and I walk through it, and the second one is where Matt just makes a video and doesn't tell me and uploads it just to just to argue us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We need to have Matt on there so you can tell me why everything is stupid. No, yeah. that'll, that'll be that'll be the big M's power hour. He'll just he'll just he'll watch back our video live, pause, right. it, and, and our hour yeah. and a half show will turn into three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Neil spends Neil spends weeks making this thing, and then Matt takes a half hour out of his day just to completely destroy it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> most Matt thing ever. I uh, love it. But anyway, so yeah, um, back onto the topic. So as Everyone said, but yeah, this this past month for September was rare or special. We've all accomplished that. We're into October now, which is the funnest, most fun. Fun? No, we're gonna do funnest in case Dave's listening. Uh, <laughs> right, our good friend dude, Dave. This is it's, it's, not, it's October, dude. Yeah, not October. It's October. 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 No. We got. We should all put. What is for Terry? Like, Terry's gonna be October. We should, put all, we should all find a base and put a dead orc on it for October. <laughs> That's true. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, but it's Warlord's Choice. Warlord's Choice. So we all get to choose whatever the heck we want to do. Fortunately, Terry uh, not being here, I don't know what he's going to do, but I know it's going to be orcs. Was it? He might have mentioned the last one. Maybe it's like a chariot, a couple chariots or something. But it's, I think it's going to be chariots. Yeah. It's going to be chariots. Yeah. yeah. It's either that or it's just going to be his uh, hog riders. Hog riders. I, yeah, I, Dude, I don't know what he's got left in the army. Useless. Yeah, he's yeah he's got, I think he still has some... Uh, some chaff, and he's got the the uh, riders and the chariot. Yeah, so, gotcha. yeah, yep. Well, Mike, what are you working on for for your warlord's I choice? Am, What's your goal? My goal is to get a trebuchet done, two big blobs of minute arms, and uh, knights of the realm all this month. That's that's lofty, but I like it. I'm almost already done with all the men at arms. I'm already done with the trebuchet. So, yes. A couple, couple I just good have days will be fine, yeah. I have to do the metallic, so I, I think I can knock it out. And then and then I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do for the last one because that's going to be the kit bash or 3D print or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's trying to be different, I guess. Like, I, I have on there, it's like, you know, 3D print mercenaries allies or kit bash it's like just do something unique just have fun so like we're not gonna yep. we're not gonna we're, yeah don't let it don't let don't let it limit you because you're like i can't kit bash or this it's like yeah fine just yeah. Do something fun well the whole the whole point of this this month right now is to literally finish my army and then that last month is just going to be in addition to that's fair um you know what i mean the, the 2000 points and everything so I, i've already got more than 2000 points with the trebuchet but i'd still like to add a level three or level four cast or something. I need some kind of magic. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the route that I'm leaning right now is that way. Gotcha. Neil, what's your, uh, what's your plan for October? Well, I've already got uh, Carl printed out. Um, this is my printers on the Fritz. He printed for me uh, two of my Lothern Sky Chariots. Um, so uh, they are... I just have to get them Pick from them him to be able to paint them. So we will schedule a game some uh, some point here in the future, and uh, I'll get a hold of those. I told him uh, he's going to come over. He bought some of my Stormcast off of me. In fact, uh, it'll be when he picks them up enough money for that uh, brand new spanking uh, uh, 3D printer. So uh, so he bought. He's going to collect the Stormcast. We're going to build a little exhaust system down here. I'm going to teach him how to play Old World and. Uh, did you did you tell uh, him he's gonna get, get some uh, Stormcast from the Skaven Tide box? 
I did. Okay, I did. good. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, yes. you you couldn't ask a better person to come over and help you with venting out your three. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. An H-back right. guy. That's Absolutely. like I'll probably do it in an hour. You know. I mean, <laughs> like so. the best person. Yeah. I might have to hire him too. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Actually, you know what? I now I think about it because I should get something like that too because I. I still have the old coal chute in my house. It's boarded up. Oh, nice. I, I have uh-huh. no idea what it's like to open that up to go underneath my deck, but uh-huh. that could be a future project to make like a whole vent station right there. Cause it's why not? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Okay. And that sounds good. I, the sky cutters will be fun to see those come together. Um, my, my goal is a lot like what Mike's doing, which I say all that, that I have everything done already. Cause I got into a groove. Things were kind of slow. So I just, I literally painted the rest of my army. Um, it's out there in individual pieces and stuff, on, but like you know, on here I'm not going to show it till the month of. But uh, it's extra command group for my men at arms, and it was two different uh, was it errant knights and knights of the realm on horse. So uh, we'll talk more about that next month. But yeah, it, like the the goal going into it was like warlord's choice is I, I you know what Mike kind of picked up on. Make sure you get an army done. <laughs> <laughs> like this might be the busy month, but hey, we're 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 all gonna crush. We're all gonna get there. Um, so yeah. So how how are you guys feeling with like the armies as a whole right now? It's uh for me, it's gonna be really tied in with the chariots, right? So right now, I just have a giant blob of skirmishers, which is yeah. what this army was. You know, if we go back to the, that's what this army is kind of like a scouting type army. Yep. Um, and so the behind the skirmishers um and probably what's going to sit on my flanks is just a, an ass ton of uh, chariots so <laughs> that's, until those get done and made uh the army will be incomplete in my eyes so uh we got to get through those um so because i still actually for the, the last month i may have to do three more chariots Ooh. so you may see an extra an extra chariot this month if i can yep um, i'm gonna do another lion chariot and i've got two tyranoch chariots i've got to put together as well Man, so um, we've uh, we've got a lot of chariots those things are not quick paint-ups at all so uh, yeah. yeah so we're, we're, it'll be hard to work chariots cu- catch you off guard actually yeah even i was surprised uh, mike you've painted a lot of knights of the realm for bretonia i went into them thinking they were going to be easy no like it's like oh they're, they're all like cloth barding. It's gonna be like let's oh, do my color sucks, and then it's dude. like then you just detail everything else. It's like this. Sucks. Oh my god, yeah. It's that's why I want to get it knocked out just because yeah. it's the, it's a freaking uh, well even those Pegasus knights. I mean I don't know. I'm I'm you know I'm yeah. glad I went black with them, but the the barding on the the knights of the realm are just it's just my yeah. god. Like, is, you're like, is this ever going to end? And it looks like shit the whole time. That's my <laughs> biggest thing about painting is, like, being in the shitty phase for 90% of the paint job, and then finally that last, pushing through that last 10%, you're like, holy shit, looks this great. is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it, yeah, it's, but, yeah, Knights of Realm suck at painting, everybody. If, <laughs> yeah. You know. They do. Like you want to go with Bretonia? <laughs> well, like I, like I said, though, nothing uh, nothing impresses like a Bretonian army that's done well. Well, yeah. So, I mean, like I, I saw it like too. Like Pegasus Knights, they weren't awful. The worst thing is like you can't hold them in any good way. So like you're just having to go back and touch up like the wings because you get. Oh, that's pulled. why I'm, that's why the pegs broke. Oh yeah, Cause cause you're, you're holding them. Yeah. <laughs> like I was an idiot. I don't. I don't want to get into yeah. it. But anyway, anyway, yeah. yeah. If you if you see a whole army of Pegasus or not Pegasus, a whole army of Bretonian knights, uh, horse knights, like Mark. Yeah, I look at Mark's. Like I'm like Hala, and they're all different. I'm yeah, like, like it's it's dude. it's much more impressive now. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, do, we, yeah. do we have a Columbus Crew update coming? I see him looking. He's looking at the screen. Everybody. <laughs> no updates. Oh. Bad foul. Like you, you zoomed in. I was like, oh, "Are we getting a goal? Are we getting a goal?" Okay, all right. No, there's a, a little update for you guys. Uh, some they they just uh, two guys got into a little altercation. One guy tapped his forehead onto the uh, the opposing player, and the guy fell down like somebody shot him. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say tapped, I mean like barely even touched. Like there might not even actually been physical contact. Just pooped him. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. That's great. They need to fix that. I mean, that. So, yeah. I mean, technically that guy should be carded, but whatever. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, that, that kind of wraps things up. Hopefully next month. Um, I don't know how many months I need to plan out. Um, Terry, if you're watching this now, um, 
will record on the 28th next month. I don't know. I'm just going to choose a date now because, you know, I will go far out as possible to get you on this show, buddy. But <laughs> does that work for you guys? So should we hey, it works it? for me. Yeah, I know. It works for me. You say that, Mike, okay. but I don't believe it yet. <laughs> Well, yeah, okay. it's I'll up in the air. Consult the oracles. No, but I'm, 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 that I mean, I'll consult my wife. And I know, I know, calendar. we got to talk to the wife. <laughs> we'll we'll get it sorted. But the, we we will have at least two more episodes of this show. Um, come hell or high water, and then maybe hopefully a bat rep, you know, or or like a, a follow up to a. Yeah, I, that would we got bat. Yeah, it's this is the whole point. Yep. Is have armies in play. Yeah. 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 Yep, we're gonna get. We'll have to roll. We'll have to roll and figure out teams because I don't want. I, I mean, or do you guys just want to go for you know everyone just, versus Terry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, te- technically, lore, lore, lore wise, wise I mean, that, yeah, that's just, yeah. six thousand points versus two. Let's go. <laughs> right, right. Well, but I'm sure Terry could paint up two thousand points in a weekend. So I mean, he could. He could. Yeah. The pro- the problem is, uh. Well, I'm trying to think. We we'd have a lot more games in our belt than he, than he would. It would he'd be like, "How do I play this game, guys?" And it would be like, "Uh, you just stand there and die." Well, that's a, yeah, that's another thing I'm looking forward to with this campaign is uh, you know, it just refreshing on the rules yeah. and yeah. getting back into the groove of things. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, it, man. I'm pumped. I'm pumped about yeah. everything. Yeah, this should be fun. This okay. war gaming season for me is coming up because yeah. it's starting to get a little cooler outside. You want to be around, you know, be around people inside indoors. You know, there's not a lot of sports going on. It's, it's yep. great. So, yeah, perfect. It'll be fun. All right, well, we'll leave everybody until next time. So, uh, Mike, Neil, thanks for being See you guys. here. Terry, we love yep. you. Um, but well, we're gonna give you shit. But we love you. <laughs> and we'll see everybody next month whenever we do our Warlord's Choice, which will be a smattering of fun stuff. So, catch you all later. All right. No.